When Umbrella Academy was released in 2019 on Netflix, it was one of those new superhero shows that was fun and cool, in a time when Marvel movies were becoming a bit too saturated and on a decline. However, after an incredible first and second season which made me fall in love with the show on the premise of a dysfunctional family with superpowers, season 3 followed which I found to be quite polarising. I was on the side of the people that didn't like it very much, and I thought it was wasting a lot of time and not giving any payoff for anything it was building up to. And now in 2024 we were given season 4, which I really struggled to enjoy, and it might be my most disliked thing that I've reviewed so far. It feels like the show is completely lost on what to do next. In my honest opinion, I don't think season 4 should have happened. I felt this way before it was released, and I feel this even more now after watching the entire season. There was a constant feeling of nothingness in season 4, as in nothing is happening and for no logical reason. Every character feels out of character. Everything from the past three seasons and the character arcs had developed feel non-existent here. Other people I've seen with re reviews say that season four is a complete butchering of the characters, especially that of five. And many would argue that he is the main character of the show and seeing him ruined in this kind of way is just very not nice to see. The ending of season three felt more like an ending to me since they could restart their lives in a new timeline without powers. For the first episode, they just get all their powers back and they barely used them in the six episodes. Yeah, six episodes. All the previous seasons had ten. You can't say it was rushed, because nothing happens within these six episodes anyways. Everyone goes on their own side quest. Klaus is stuck in a coffin for an entire episode. Luther and Diego at the CIA and then just leave. Allison has this whole awkward relationship with everyone, but gets forgiven, and she barely has any real screen time. Five and Lila are also taken out for an entire episode as well, where some of the worst stuff in the entire show happens which is an aspect that everywhere I've seen fans hate, and I've called it a massive butchering of the characters and the character arcs. However, there are some good parts of this season. For me especially, I found Jean and Jean to be quite brilliant, and I thought they were very good villains. But it's a shame that they're in season 4. I thought their relationship was funny, and seeing them go about their master plan was some of my favourite parts. Victor as well is the only character who I don't hate in this season. He's the only one actively in and trying to, to stop the world from ending whilst everyone else is just wandering around and doing heck all. He's also actively trying to fix his relationship with Reginald, which is brilliant to finally see him overcoming the trauma he experienced when he was a kid in the original timeline. I thought this bit was quite cool. To think that the Umbrella Academy member that was the most shunned and seen as useless is now the only one that is actively trying to save the world is actually pretty good. This feels like an absolute nothing season, and to add an insult to injury, it undoes everything that came before it with the ending. Everything that came before, the relationships, the stakes, the, the arguments, the desperate struggle to save the world. It all feels like it was for nothing. In my opinion, do not really watch this season if you're a fan of this show and its characters. Watch seasons 1 to 3 and end it there. Season 3 feels like a way better conclusion in hindsight than season 4. I'll rate season 4 a 2 out of 10 because it does ruin everything that came before it and its conclusion is kind of horrible. And it's probably the first time I'm going to say this and do not watch this. It is worth your time.